Crazy Will here today. Today we're gonna to be talking about video editing software. Which one do I use? Stay tuned and I'll tell you. Hey, Crazy Will from Crazy Will's Tech Show. So I got a lot of requests from you guys, especially from my YouTube camera video. I mean, you can see that right here about editing software. So I thought I would take the time out and show you the editing software I use. And I've used a lot of editing software. This is not my first go around with editing. Like I said, I used to do a lot of this stuff professionally. I used to use a Sony Vegas quite a bit. I used to use Adobe Premiere quite a bit. And I used a little bit of Final Cut Pro. So with that being said, I have a lot of experience playing with editing software. And I've actually even used Windows Movie Maker, believe it or not, too. So I have a lot of experience with this stuff. And I've messed with all of them. It's all basically the same. You're just editing clips, putting them together, and throwing a soundtrack in there. The difference between a lot of them is more effects, more layering, able to take more advantage of alpha channels, stuff like that. And alpha channels, real quick, I'll explain that what it is because it's really important, especially if you're doing videos and you want to put stuff over your video that looks pretty cool. It's just where it's a transparent background. You know, everything's done with layering. You put this video clip like here, and then, you know, let's say you want to throw something right there. So the software I use is iMovie, and you're probably laughing your ass off at me, but it works. And what I say is do what works. I do not have a budget for these YouTube videos, especially because they cut off my monetization. I don't have a way to pay one of those subscription fees or to shell out $300 for Final Cut Pro. So what I use is iMovie and it's a basic editing software and it does pretty good and I, I, I enjoy it. So if you're a Mac user, this video is going to be really helpful for you or if you were thinking about getting a computer and it's free guys. Like if you own a Mac, it is free. You go to the App Store and you download it. It's absolutely free. It's part of their package and I always find it funny and I'm just going to add this little tidbit in for you guys. I always found it funny that people will buy a Mac and then get like all this different software when Macs come with a lot of free software. They come with numbers, pages, Keynote, GarageBand. All these softwares are basic softwares. iMovie is like a dumbed down version of Final Cut Pro that everybody raves about. So I'm gonna quit yapping and I'm gonna go over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to set up a scene and edit one of my videos and show you how it works. So let's get to it, shall we? Okay, so here we are on my computer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on iMovie. It's gonna launch. And this is the screen you're gonna see when you launch iMovie. And give it a second to load. All right, so when you wanna create a new project, you might be in media. Usually it opens up in projects. We're gonna go, what we're gonna do is gonna to go to create new. You do a trailer or you can do a movie. I'm just going to show you the basics. You guys can play with this. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on movie. It opens up and then from here you should see your window looking like this and if it's not just click on media but I just want to go through this real quick. You got media, you got audio, you got titles, um, there's a whole audio file in here. Titles, there's a whole bunch of titles backgrounds and transforms now I'm gonna go into all these and just show you the basics of this but I'm just showing you right now where this stuff is located over here on the screen you have all different things you can use to adjust your image or change timing or change volume I'm gonna show you them as well so instead of me going through everything and boring you and it asked me to make a name okay so that's some movie if you want to delete that movie too delete project we don't need it I'm currently working on one so I wanted to show you a little bit of my process I recently updated my MacBook Pro 2011 this video is gonna come out afterwards so I'm gonna put the link if you want to see the finished product above this video right now okay so when as you notice you know you import your images I have my opening logo I have a little screenshot here and all these are is videos with alpha channels, you can create them yourself using a variety of software. I might go into that later on. You put an alpha channel in the background, it just looks black here, but this is how you use it. So what you could do is you can go through here and if you put your timeline anywhere and you hit the space bar on your keyboard, Talking about it'll start playing. And as you can see, we'll hit the space bar. And there I am messing up. If you hit the space bar at any point, it'll start playing. What we'll do is we'll mouse over, and I think this was the one I really liked on the intro. Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're gonna be talking about my 2011 MacBook Pro. We're gonna upgrade the hard drive 
from a hybrid hard drive to an SSD. Stay tuned. Okay, so I like that intro. <laughs> My goofy freaking face. So we're gonna click on it, and now we're gonna click and drag it down here. And this is this is basically what you're gonna be doing is clicking and dragging frames. Now, this frame goes on for a little ways, and there's even a part where you see me turning off the camera. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim it. All you do is click on this end here, and drag it over to where you see the wave lines are there. You just drag it up to that, and there you go. So now, it'll end right there. And then the beginning, I turned on the camera, we gotta get rid of that. So we're gonna get me mid-face, oh, that's just lovely, Will. <laughs> Anybody leaving horrible comments? You have no idea how hot I am on myself. So we have that intro. Let's go, go to the beginning, and we're gonna hit the space bar. Hey, Crazy Will here today. Today we're gonna be talking about my 2011 MacBook Pro. All right, so we have that intro. I, I hit the space bar again to stop. What I wanna do is now I wanna highlight it, and you can do a variety of things in here. You can click on this right here and I forget it's the color balance you can auto it you can match color you could do whiteness and balance there is a lot of stuff you can do here which I do not want to do right here again you can adjust and if you hit command Z it'll go back to where it was you can crop if you wanted to crop the frame you could crop it you could transition where it'll go from start to finish so if you play this like here if I leave that on there it'll Crazy Will here today. Today we're going to be talking about You'll my know, 2011 MacBook. You see how it's slowly zooming in? I don't want that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the clip again. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get rid of it and just make it fit to screen. This, I have never really played with stabilization, camera shake, video shake. You can play with that. I haven't really messed with that. The one that I really mess with them a lot is the volume and it's worked for me the most. I just hit auto on the volume and it just kind of auto levels everything out like I said you know I've used softwares that are more technical but I'm trying to make YouTube videos quick and easy I want to get them out there and this is to reduce background noise this is to speed up the clip you can do all different types of speed this is different types of effects and filters you could do audio effects you could do uh, clip effects they'll pop up over here crazy will here today today we're going to be so talking you can about see. my 2000 you know I don't want to do any of these so I'm gonna hit cancel but there's a lot of stuff that I haven't even messed with in here and this just gives you the information and and then there's also the magic wand where it'll auto do it but I'm gonna hit reset you know any of these you could just click on the magic wand and it'll automatically do it it's like an auto feature so okay so we have the clip I have it the way I want and now how you could tell that I did the volume on this it, it will be blue so we have that done and now what I want to do is I want to put my intro and my intro is actually pre-done with music that's already done. And just to give you an ex example of what I'm talking about, as I grab this, I bring this clip in here, and at the end right here, I'm going to place my mouse right here. And that's my intro. I'm sure you saw it on the beginning of this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to grab another one and put it on top of on top of there and it has an alpha channel so what i'm going to do is we're going to go over to this side we're going to drag it over to where it just starts to break okay and i'm going to click this clip i don't need both volumes i'm going to click on this clip and i'm going to detach audio and then i'm going to click on the audio and i'm going to hit delete all you do is you left click and you go to sh uh, detach audio that's all you have to do so now the audio is gone and I have this gap here You're probably wondering why am I doing that because that's where we're gonna put the video of me in there so now what I'll do is I'll go back up here click and drag this and if you have this transition right there's my big mug in the middle of <laughs> look, you see my teeth yeah, right in the middle of there now that has an alpha channel and yet you would have to learn a little bit about alpha channels but you can get pre-made stuff with alpha channels in it now it wouldn't have worked if I put it on the same level because you got to cut into it so what I'm doing this for right here is just a time gap like I said this is an editing software it's basic it is very basic and it doesn't have multiple layers it only has two layers most video editing softwares have three layers so you can actually overlap it doesn't automatically 
time shift everything over. This does a lot of time shifting over. If I want to put a gap in between here, I can't. It automatically time shifts it over. That's what I'm calling. I don't know if that's correct. It pushes it over, which is actually really convenient for you, but it's also a pain when you're trying to edit it. It makes it so there's no black gaps. Like if you used Adobe Premiere, you, you know, you could leave uh, open areas like that and it would leave black gaps. So I don't want to go too much off topic. We're just trying to get the basics of editing. And once you learn this, this is the basics for most software. They're all basically the same. Once you learn the basics, it's all basically the same. The only thing that's different is the way they function. Hotkeys or buttons in that effect is very little difference. I've noticed that's my opinion you know we're trying to find things sometimes a pain in the butt I don't need to uh, edit it in the beginning so let's let's play the clip we're gonna hit the space bar hey crazy will here from crazy wills tech show okay so now I notice I got a big area where I'm breathing right there and well before I get into cutting to zoom in this will make your life a lot easier this is probably how it'll start and what you need to do is zoom in a little bit I like to go almost to the very end where I can see large gaps. And this is part of my editing technique. You don't have to do it this way, but I hate breaths in between. So I go in there and I take them all out. So like if you see if you see the clip in its entirety, you see I'm like, you know, like no one wants to hear a fat man breathing in like that. Will's tech show. Before I do the split, the first thing I like to do is go up here to volume and hit auto. It's just a, a habit I do for making the audio correct. You could hear the hey, difference. Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. Tech Show. I mean, you could hear a little difference. You probably can't hear it through my mic. So back to splitting the clip. What we're going to do is when you get to this point right here, what we want to do is we want to hit left click and then split clip. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click and drag this over to the next wave. And that's how you tell right here. This just this wave. Will's Tech Show today. So now that just, to me, that looks smoother. So now we have. Hey, Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show today. All right, so that's basically the basics of editing right there. The only other thing that I wanna show you is, again, with alpha channels, you can make in any edit photo editing program a PNG file, and you can place it right over. And see, that's how I make my intro of my name. I'm gonna delete that because that's not where I want it. That's the PNG file. Another thing that you could do is you can add audio clips on top. So if I want to put a chicken sound in the beginning, you know. Um, Will's Tech Show today. No, let's try this over again. <laughs> you know, I don't do too much sound effects. I probably should do some more, make it more interesting. But then there's titles, and ah, uh, you know, you guys seen this. This is my favorite. You know, wacky Will kind of title. What you do is. Crazy Will's Tech Show. So, like, if you want to put nut. All right, so, you know, we write nut job in there. Crazy Will's Tech Show. You know, a little animation, and it'll fade in and out. Another thing that I would want to show you was fading in and out. So, at the end here, I want this to kind of fade away because it just jumps. I don't want it to jump. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on the fade key right here. Now, if I pull it, it does it to both sides. It doesn't really matter on this clip because it starts off black, so it doesn't it doesn't matter. But if you wanted to just do one side, this is another quick tip. If you hold the option key and click and drag it, you see how the other side isn't moving? If I let go of it, the other side moves. If I go back and then hold it, it doesn't move. You can only fade one side. So now what happens is... Crazy Will here from... It fades it away. Transition just being boom, it's just done. It actually fades it away. So it looks just more appealing in that aspect. So I showed you the basics of that stuff. You can do backgrounds, but you gotta do green screen if you wanna do that, or if you wanna have overlays, you can do that. Transitions, this is another thing that I'd like to show you. These are all transitions. If you go over them, you will see how they work. You just, or you could just hit the, the space bar and play it and see how they work. Real easy, you put them right in between two splits. Tech show today. And you don't always see it in real time, some, you know, because it, it has to render it out. And there you have the transition and it rendered better. You can put any transition you want in here. I mean, if you wanted to, 
and if you want to delete it you just click on it or if you want to make it longer you can click on it and change the duration so if I want to make it like I don't know five seconds which would be insane but yeah I'm gonna do it for the for the sake Crazy Will here from Crazy Will's Tech Show. <laughs> <laughs> that would take forever. So let's get a Command Z, Command Z, and get rid of that. People do too much of, I think, is transitions. You know, do transitions, but don't go crazy where it's like every other frame is swipe it over or doing something crazy. But there's a lot here. I mean, that's my basic intro for a free piece of software. If you have a Mac, like I said, this is a free piece of software. That's basically the basics for this. If you have any questions, put them down below. So that's how you edit an iMovie. And I hope that helps, guys. I hope this kind of fills in some gaps or helps you figure out how to set up your setup on YouTube. I know it's a journey, guys. I will have a video coming soon telling you my experience for one year doing YouTube. I will tell you we're coming up to that year mark or we're up to it. I'm going to be doing a video, my full year and experiences doing YouTube and to see how well I've done, how I feel, trials and tribulations. That's it for this show, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. And remember, you could do anything. And I I mean anything if you put your mind to it. Later guys, video editing. Stay tuned. I know what you're thinking, Crazy Will's Tech Show's over, what do I do now? Real simple guys, you hit that like button and you hit that subscribe button and then you check out my other videos. It's not over, I made a lot. It's been a good year.